I'm Todd Hines. I'm a senior lecturer at MIT. I'm also a senior advisor for the uh, Martin Trust Center for MIT Entrepreneurship. And I uh, teach a course called Climate and Energy Ventures. It's had uh, hundreds of students and over 50 companies that have come out of the class. And uh, I also started the MIT Climate and Energy Prize, uh, which has had 850 teams and thousands of students from around the world that have used that competition to uh, really accelerate their startups and their careers into climate. So today I was talking about the Global Methane Prize. How do we combine a proven method of drawing attention and funding and resources towards solutions, the prize format, lots of great prizes out there, um, with advanced market commitments, or essentially, essentially purchase commitments to buy the output of the projects. These methane emissions are distributed around the world, and we need to attract capital to install infrastructure and technology and solutions to reduce those emissions. And so that advanced market commitment to purchase the offsets or the reductions from those projects is a way of driving capital to those solutions. I've been working in decarbonization for over 20 years in clean energy, vehicle electrification, and I've been volunteering in climate and working with nonprofits. We're not solving the problem fast enough. We need other solutions that can also buy us time for decarbonization. So everybody should really be thinking about climate change is a broader topic than just decarbonization. There's lots of other ways that we can help reduce global warming and bring solutions to market. If I were to think of the large initiatives or markets that we could add in addition to decarbonization, there's carbon removal, which has already gotten a lot of attention. Um, there's methane removal, which is what, or methane emissions reductions, which is what I'm talking about now. There's also ocean climate solutions. And then albedo management, actually reducing uh, the amount of energy that is being uh, warming the planet. So think of like Arctic ice preservation. There's an organization called Ocean Visions that's working on pathways to help uh, maintain Arctic ice. How do we do that to reduce um, uh, something that's really valuable? It's a free service for us right now, and it's going away. Um, 